Good morning and welcome back to our YouTube channel Chemistry and Smile. Today we are going to look at a question uh, question from uh, paper 2 KCC 2018. I uh, will begin by question 2. Question 2 which carries a total marks of four, a total of 14 marks. Now before we continue uh, kindly subscribe to this channel uh, such that uh, as you prepare for your KCSE you'll be uh, receiving more questions and more videos. Now question two question two uh, the figure two below is a section of a periodic table study it and answer the question that follow the letters do not represent the actual symbols of the elements. That is the, the question. Now, this is our periodic table, uh, that section of our periodic table. Now, uh, you are told, question one, uh, that is uh, Roman one, select elements which belong to the same chemical uh, family. Select elements which be belong to the same chemical family. Now, when you look at this periodic table, we have uh, elements G, K, and uh, J. Uh, they are the only elements which belong to the same uh, group. They belong to the same group. So, because element G is a non-metal, uh, we have elements uh, which belong to the same family K and uh, J. K and J, they belong to alkali. Alkali metals element L belong to alkal alkaline hearth metals. Uh, element B belong to uh, noble gases. These are noble gases. Gases. Now, write the formula of the elements in the same period. Write the formula of the ions for elements in the same period. So, when we look at our periodic table here, we have uh, elements uh, K, L, M. They belong to the same uh, period. They belong to the same period. They belong to period 3. Belong to period 3. So you are taught to write the ions. So uh, K, I have a charge of 1. Uh, L, the charge of uh, 2. And uh, M, the charge of 3. Uh, you are taught the ions. Now, the first ionization energies for elements K and M are at random that is at random uh, 577 kilojoules per mole and 494 kilojoules per mole write equations for the first ionization en el energies for elements K and M and indicate their energies now Ionization energy is the minimum energy required to remove an electron from its outermost energy level in their gaseous state. Therefore, uh, elements K and M. So, K loses one electron from its outermost energy level. And therefore, uh, K loses one electron to form K. Uh, ions in the in its gaseous state and the energy uh, change is equals to uh, 577 kilojoules per mole then uh, we have m m uh, loses first electron to form m ions because it is the first ionization energy and the energy change is equals to uh, 4 
94 kilojoules per mole. Remember, uh, M, he is in, in period 3, supposed to form M3 ions like that because it is the first ionization energy. It first loses the first electron uh, to form M ions, proceeds up to uh, the third ionization energy, M3 uh, ions. Now, explain your answer. Explain your answer in B. Explain your answer in B. Uh, M is in period uh, 3 and uh, group uh, 3. Period 3, group 3. Also, K is in period 3, group 1. So, uh, K, K, uh, M has more protons than uh, K, and therefore stronger nuclear charge, stronger nuclear uh, charge. So more energy is required to remove an electron here than uh, to remove an electron from uh, K, because this one has stronger nuclear charge compared to uh, K. This, the atomic radius of K is smaller compared to that one, uh, sorry, the atomic radius of M is smaller compared to that one of K, and therefore uh, it is difficult to remove an electron from here, compared uh, removing an electron from uh, uh, K. M has more protons, as we have said, than uh, K, and stronger nuclear attraction uh, more energy is required to remove, more energy is required to remove the first electron from M than uh, in K. And therefore, uh, more uh, N ionization energy. Write the formula of the compound formed when L and I react. L and I uh, react. L is in a uh, group uh, L is in group uh, 2 and uh, I is in group 5 so uh, L will need to gain uh, 3 electrons for it to be stable and uh, that is I will need to gain 3 electrons for it to be stable and L will need to lose two electrons. So an ionic compound will be uh, formed. So L uh, react with the I three. So this one would be three two. So the compound would be L three I uh, two. An ionic compound would be uh, formed. Give one use of element V. Let's go back to element V. Element V is in group 8 and therefore it is inert. So it is used uh, in street lights because it is inert. So it is used in street lights because it is inert. State another group that G can be placed in figure 2 explain G is in group 1 G is hydrogen it can also be placed in a uh, uh, group 7 this is because it can either gain one electron so we can place G here it can either lose one electron to form G it can also uh, gain an electron to form G ions, like that. Therefore, G can be placed in group 7 because it can gain one electron to form G ions, G negative, and can also lose one electron to form G ions. How does the reactivity of elements J and K compare? Elements J and K. 
let's go back to uh, the period now j and k j and k they are both in group one uh, but as we go down the group the atomic radius increases so the atomic radius of j is larger compared to that one of uh, k therefore uh, j is more reactive than k because the electron the delocalized electron here in the outermost energy level is loosely held by the nuclear and it can therefore be lost can be it can therefore be lost easily so we have said j is more reactive than k because j has a larger atomic radius than k therefore the valence electrons can easily be lost the valence electrons can easily be lost now uh Elements L and M form chlorides. Complete the following table by writing the formula of each chloride and state the nature of the solutions. So L, which is in group 2, when uh, it uh, reacts with the chloride, it forms L chloride. Uh, and the nature of the solution is neutral. M, uh, when it reacts with a, a chloride, it forms M2, two, two compounds, that is M chloride, M chloride or M uh, chloride dimer, M chloride dimer. So, and the nature of the solution is uh, uh, acidic. So, the formula of the chloride form is L chloride here. Yeah. The nature of the solution is... Uh, a neutral sorry neutral neutral uh, m chloride it can either be m chloride or m chloride dimer m is uh, in the, in the real sense is uh, aluminium so aluminium can either form aluminium chloride or aluminium chloride uh, dimer. The nature of the solution is acidic. The nature of the solution is acidic. The chloride of M vaporizes easily, while the its oxide has a higher melting point. So M we have said is uh, aluminium, aluminium. So aluminium chloride uh, and aluminium oxide aluminium oxide so aluminium chloride is a uh, aluminium chloride aluminium chloride uh, aluminium chloride sublimes when heated because uh, its molecules is held by weak van der Waals forces while alumin aluminium oxide is held by strong ionic bonds which requires more heat to break held by strong uh, ionic bonds which requires more heat to break so you've said aluminium chloride vaporizes easily because uh, it is held by van der Waal forces weak van der Waal forces weak van der Waal forces uh, between its dimer while uh, while uh, hem oxide has a higher melting point because of a strong ionic bonds which is difficult uh, to break which is difficult to break so uh, thank you for tuning in to this channel uh, kindly share subscribe this video we are going to finish up this uh, paper in the next video